One important thing to know about FSL atlases is that some are probabilistic and some are not. The non-probabilistic maps assign a whole number to a voxel to label it as part of a structure. Unlike probabilistic maps, these atlases do not have any overlap between any of their structures. Furthermore, with an atlas such as the Ulick atlas, adding any structure to the template will add all of the structures. We need to do a few more steps if we just want one structure or a subgroup of structures. Let's assume that we want to construct a mask of the entire corpus callosum. First, we change the default minimum threshold so that we have numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, anything below the number 5. We can also change the maximum for greater contrast. Next, note the index numbers for the corpus callosum. For example, 3, 4, and 5 make up the genu, the body, and the splenium. Second, we save the entire atlas as a file, ulicatlas.nii.gz. We then use FSL Maths to extract the structures that we want. Use the following command, FSL Maths, followed by ulicatlas.nii.gz, and then thresholding of 3, zero out everything below 3, and upper threshold everything above 5. We'll call this cc.nai.gz. Go back to FSL view and then load that CC map that we just made onto the template. What you'll notice is that we only have the corpus callosum structures. However, if we click around, we find that they still have the original numbers of 3, 4, and 5. The next step that we have to do is to binarize these structures. We do this by using FSL Maths again, with the CC map we just made, but then with the BIN command to binarize any number above zero. Any number above zero then becomes one. You can check this by loading this new binarized image onto the template, and then checking its intensity number. You should now find that every voxel in the corpus callosum now has an intensity of one, meaning we can now use it for an ROI analysis. I hope this helps you understand some atlases in FSL a little bit better, and I wish you luck with all of your future analyses.